New today, it likely wasn't fireworks that woke you up last night, but thunder as storms rolled through the city. But fortunately, this holiday weekend should be hot and dry for all your festivities. However, as Cakes Gordon Shefty explains, the rain we've gotten before the 4th of July is a good thing. Main Street here in Newton looks fine right now, but the police chief tells me that overnight the streets flooded coming up over the curb and up to the walls of some of these businesses. A summer soaking drenched parts of Cakeland overnight, causing flooding in several areas. It gets pretty deep. In fact, last night we had trash cans and a few other things floating down through there. Uh, my overnight supervisor uh, indicated there was about two foot of water running down through there. The forecast causing firework tent operators to brace for the worst. That would pretty much take out our whole stand if we got large hail that would destroy the tent. Really got nervous last night. We shut down a little early, basically brought everything in, scooted everything towards the center of the, of the tent covered it all with tarps. This morning, debris left in roads indicates where water has receded. This latest downpour makes this the third wettest June in history for Wichita. But what does it mean for your 4th of July celebrations? The fire department's going to love it, I'm certain, because the dry conditions will not quite be as bad as they have been in the past. And firework tents are also welcoming the wetter weather. It actually helps the business because everybody, you know, we go for a while without any rain, it's dry, people get worried, uh, the rain comes in and, and soaks everything and people get more comfortable and they realize that when I set this off on my driveway, um, it's not going to catch the grass on fire. Fingers crossed for safe celebrations. Jordan Shafty, Cake News.